Hi, I'm Carl and welcome back to my YouTube video series on rotary tools. A few weeks ago, we did a a uh, project with this on how this would work with Hot Wheel Cars modification. And you may have watched that, you may haven't, but I would suggest you go back and check it out. And we found out that this is not totally useless. It does actually work on a project. So, this time we're going to put this one aside. We're going to look at this Bauer sold by Harbor Freight, just like this thing. Yeah, I called this a thing, not a rotary tool. We have this Bauer Heavy Duty Guaranteed number. 1967E-B Variable speed Precision crafting Rotary tool 4000 to 20,000 RPM It comes with a 35 piece accessory kit That's encased in this plastic Reusable case Engraving, sanding, and cutting so let's Turn it over, let's see if I can read this upside down Okay, I'm going to use this as a pointer right here. We have variable speed dial to match speed to application. Ergonomic soft grip handle designed for maximum operator comfort and control. Quiet motor operation keeps noise to a minimum. Lightweight Balanced design minimizes user fatigue during extended use. Compact design for easy manageability. Manageability. Well, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> On delicate projects. Spindle lock. Secure 1 8 inch rotary tool. Accessories for heavy any application. Now here's a list of the what's in this uh, accessory kit. One thing I found down here kind of strange how would put why they would put this in here. It says uh, let's see if I can find it. one power adapter, two times collet nut, two times 3.2 inch collet. Oh, that, that's what I'm talking about. The collet nut. Why would they have to put the collet nut as an accessory? That doesn't make any sense. But uh, let's see here. Diamond wheel point. But I want to do this and let you zoom uh, zoom in on that if you're interested in it. Whoops. There we go. Let's see if I can get that in the camera. But anyway, that's what's the ingredients in this package and yes I did say ingredients <laughs> uh, okay let's cut this thing open now like I said I bought this at Harbor Freight and I paid thirty dollars for it and I'm thinking I might have paid too much considering what it is Because you can get a nice rotary tool on eBay or Amazon with a flex shaft and everything else that you may need to go with it for 20 25 bucks. So, let's look at this anyway. Let's put this right there. Let's take this thing out. Stuck in there pretty good. Come on now, that's a lot, pretty long cord. Ah, no wonder. We'll have to cut this because it's got a, one of those big cords on the end. There would be um, the big 
plug in tight. There we go. And there are instructions in the bottom right here, but since I have approximately <laughs> about 32 different rotary tools, I don't think I'm going to need these instructions there. So let's just drop those aside right here. Get this drill master rotary tool out of the way. First thing we're going to do, that is pretty comfortable. Really not too bad at all. Red and black, almost like the, what's that other red and black? Oh, um, uh, to Milwaukee. I'm sure it's not even close to the quality of a Milwaukee. But anyway, it is what it is. Here's the collet nut right here. It says it, they listed the collet nut as the accessory. And that thing doesn't want to come unscrewed. Huh. Oh, here we go. Here's the spindle lock right here. Let's push that in. There we go. It helps to do it the right way. Here is the collet. Collet nut. The cord. Maybe four feet long. Accessory box. Let's just open this up and see what's in there. Already I can tell just by looking at it that these bits are much better in quality than the drill master. But that's like comparing anything to a Chevette with a two cylinders not working. Okay, here's these grinding burrs. Put those aside. We have some sanding mandrels and drums. We have the small ones. And that's all that's in this kit are the small ones. So here's more right here. This one didn't come with it. And here are the polishing pads. Let's see, we have five of the bigger ones, three of the smaller ones, and they connect with this screw mandrel, which is right uh, there. Since I have that, I'm just going to show you how it connects on. Both of them are the same. Well, if I can get one out of here. Get out of there. There we go. Now see this little hole right there in the center? Take the uh, screw tip, just twist it on in there. Easy as one, two, three. Then you'll put your polishing compounds on here. I have a couple of videos showing that. We're not going to go into that right now in this video. But pretty self-explanatory, not too bad. Oh, there's six of the, excuse me, six of these small ones. They're double stacked. So we got six each, six big ones and six little ones. Okay, we'll put that in there. So, we're going to pick this collet. And we are going to, there's not a drill bit in here. So we're just going to take this bit. There's two of them the same size. There we go. Has the round ball on the end. And we're going to take this bit and take out this rivet. They're not really rivets, but that's what they're called in the, I could say, industry. They're really posts that are pressed down. But anyway, we're going to drill out this rivet take the chassis off this body, this hot wheel car, that I don't have any plans on using this for anything else. So, it should fit in this collet. So let's put this collet into 
the Bauer rotary tool. There we go. Put this on there. Push in the, the lock button. And put this not all the way in. So I'm going to push it all the way in and pull it out like a sixteenth of an inch. Take this, tighten it up. We have a wrench in here. We're going to take this wrench and, whoops, if I can get it out of there. There we go. I'm going to take this wrench and tighten it up a little bit more. Now what I'm doing, I'm holding the spindle lock button right here. You push that in when you want to tighten this up. There we go. Now we didn't really go over this handle. Let's do this real quick. Here is the speed control. It goes up to number five at the max. One is the least. Here's the off and on switch right here. It has uh, some air vents on each side. And uh, here's some more air vents right here on each side. Huh, I don't see any place to get in here and replace brushes anywhere, so that's not an option. So here's the specs. Don't really need to go into those right now, do we? So, I'm going to push that aside. Push these sanding mandrels aside. We'll keep these right here. Keep this wrench handy. I have my safety glasses. Put my safety glasses on. Plug in this. Let's see how loud this thing is. Here is the red button. Power switch. It's on low. Ooh, that's very quiet. Very quiet. So, I got the ball fit in there. What we'll do, what we're going to do is just going to take this Doing a bad job at all on this. Ooh, it just died. There we go. It turned off. So. There we go. Push that in there. Ringing out those rivets. Let's do the second one. Now you see when I put too much pressure on it, the tool actually turns off. Instead of bogging down and keep turning and ruining the motor, it just turns off. So let's see if I ring those out enough. See if we can pop this out. Ah, there we go. Not quite yet. Let's try this side. There you go. That one popped out. Let's ring this one a little bit more. Sometimes these are a little bit trickier to get out than others. But, there we go. So that's how you take the chassis off of a Hot Wheel. Really nothing to it. Just took the windscreens out. Windows, windscreen, windshield, whatever you want to call it. Depends on where you're from. <laughs> Here's the purple wheels. You ever wondered about the Hot Wheels? It kind of looks like a stick pin, right? The axle. Let's see here if I can get that better. 
or a nail. So, I'll save these for a future project. I'm mainly saving it for the axle and not the wheels. Here's the chassis. I'm just going to go ahead. Ooh, there's batteries in there. Why are there batteries? Ooh, looks like there was a light in on. Maybe I took apart this wrong. The wrong hot wheel. Well, it's too late now. I didn't like it anyway. So, now that we have the body off the chassis, let's take, hold the spindle lock, get this off of here. Now, just realize this did not come with any cutoff disc. So, we won't be able to chop this in half unless we come up with another way. So let's just take... Uh, just for fun, let's just take this cone bit. Put it in here. And since I don't want to use any accessory from another kit, we won't be able to chop this in half. So let's just take this right here and uh, hmm. let's just do a little grinding right here. Okay? So I'm going to zoom in. Okay, here's the car. Here's the bit. We're going to see how this performs on grinding. It's on the high speed. Whoops. through so there you go let's see there we go let's see, get this thing to focus come back a little bit there we go so you can see that's where we were cutting let's go ahead and do this side too that went pretty quick so let me hold it this way this time Now it keeps bogging, turning off when you bog it down too much pressure. Okay, that was cut all the way through. You can see how we can now take this and bend it up a little bit. Anyway, you can easily shape your wheels if you need to um, make your wheel well, wells larger you just there we go let's try this one since some of that was out of the camera See, there we go. You can see where we ground out those wheel wells. So, it does work pretty good for modifying your hot wheel cars if you are into that hobby. You could use it for other things, of course. Woodworking, wood carving, just whatever. Polishing. Let's try this. I've got this car here. It's a, I believe it's a 63 Chevrolet. It's morphed in with something else right here. I don't, can't remember what this is. 
Let's see if I can smooth out this JB Weld. Anyway, turn that off. You can see where it, it's already ground that down. See how this side was and turn it. It does work. Now, I think it should have been a little bit cheaper. Maybe in the uh, maybe $24 range, $20 range even. It is a little bit overpriced. I don't mind saying that because you don't get many accessories with it but it does work it works better than I thought it would so I'm not unhappy with this at all it is fairly comfortable so my conclusion is if you like the hobby of modifying hot wheel cars this Bauer from Harbor Freight $29 will do the job for you if you have one of these let me know how you like it if you hate it just leave some kind of comment do some interaction with us below my name is Carl and I do appreciate you watching